Hey guys, this is Victor the Landscaper. Anyways, you into my how to fix it um, section on my channel. I want to show you guys something. I know everyone is trying to get their plows hooked up, and this is something that you should have done a few months ago. But I'm gonna try to make your life a little bit easier if you just follow those simple procedures, simple steps on exactly how to install the wiring harness on a 2006 GMC Sierra 2500 this applies to the years of 99 to 07 and they might have just a little bit of a difference as you go along from 08 onwards anyways let us start on exactly what you'll be needing you're gonna need one of those guys right here it doesn't necessarily has to be this but this makes your life a little bit easier just to be able to open up on the the wire so that way you could get connected and whatever and you're also going to need some electrical tip so with that being said this is all you're going to need if you have a sharp object and you want to be able to you want to go ahead and take it out just try not damaging too many things whilst you add it i saw the video some time ago on how to install run the wires so i'm not gonna go back into all of this this is the reason why i did the video this way so that you could understand step by step exactly how to install a complete snow plow for this truck anyways this uses the h3 uh, h3 h4 yeah wiring harness and let's go straight into details let's go straight into this step number one the shorter wire of the wiring harness stays to the driver's side and the longer side goes on to the passenger side now all you need to do is take out those clips if you feel like you want to do it this way i think i think honestly it is the safest way for me to do it that way if i put it you could also run it here but remember it's going to be in the way of whoever if someone has to do any work with your fan or changing anything here so i took it and i put it in the back of the screw this wire right here this is the one that runs across in the back of here all you have to do is remove this 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 and you know what i mean and then you put it in here and then you just zip tie it in a couple spots let's start with over here the driver's side since we're here. anyways you'll find two connectors one here with uh, black they both say um, A, B on the back of them. I already strapped this, um, zip tied this and put this there. And this one also here. So this is your high beam, obviously. This is your high beam. Let's make this clear. Your high beam and just your ordinary headlights. Anyways, the black one always goes to the center. Remember that the black stays in the center, high beam. High beam. So all you do is you take that connector this one right here which was connected into this right here and you put it into the black one you clip this in and then the other short part that was hanging on the same wiring you take it and you just connect it straight into here it says high AD on that wire okay so for this side you basically do the same it says low right here yep right at low you connect it straight in that's it and then you're gonna find yourself with two extra wires they have three extra wires there's two green and there's also a blue one the blue one you it has no use right now you don't need that blue so you could just wrap it and tuck it away on the side let's get into details of how you get to connect the indicator so now that this side is connected let's do this really nice and quick pop this just like that anyways as you could see over here there's one blue and one brown okay so the let's explain this as much as possible okay so here you go colors so there's one that says a turn v b or turn vb yeah so the turn vb goes on the blue wire and obviously the other wire which says uh, what does it say 
the pack VH goes on the brown. So this is where you get to use this splicer right there and you get to figure a way to do you don't want to do it too big and next thing you cut off your your actual wire and um, you connect them in properly and all you do is use the electrical tape on it once you're done with this side I know how I do my work so I just go ahead reinstall this right back in here put this headlight right back in all the way in but just to not have it hanging no pressure on the wires you move to over to the passenger side the passenger side same procedure there we go the high okay you see the high BB it goes into the high the black which is the center right there and then same procedure same process same everything have it all twisted over here so though never mind this this is just to keep the light and everything closer to this way and you see right here this one which is the gray one it says the same a b but look at for this it should be on the other one just like the other side it says low it's upside down but you get the idea low b a so low b a gets connected directly into the gray and the extra one goes into the headlight or the back of the light and the same thing goes over here see it says the same ab but it's just in black to let you know there's something different between the two of them high and low that's all it is you do that and then you see the high ab that means the same wire the same wire goes directly into the headlamp that's all you need to do for the headlight part and over here it is usually just two extra wires I think running on this side I can't remember and I do this is just with my mind and whatever so that way I could figure Anyways, we're over here now with the last light, last um, wire, which says the turn VA. Turn VA goes right here. Blue on blue. Very simple. That's all you need to do, guys. The same procedure that you did over here. You do it over here as well. You use your electrical tip. You clip this right in. And just to find out whether your lights are working properly or not. Let's go in, put them on, the indicators, make sure all of that is working. As you can see, the indicator is working. Let's check out the high beam. And this is your high beam right there. Anyways, guys, this wasn't difficult at all whatsoever. I haven't seen any video of anyone actually demonstrating or explaining exactly what the color wires are. And that's all you need to do. If you like this video, please give a like thumbs up please look out for the rest i'm only doing them part by part so that everyone who needs to do this could take their time watch the video and figure it out i did show the first part of how to run the wire i'm actually showing exactly how to wire it right now there's a difference you show exactly how to wire it it is totally different and now we're gonna do something else and we're gonna show you the different steps the different procedures of exactly how to completely wire up a, a v plow snow plow in that case anyways guys thanks for liking please like share subscribe if you like this you know what to do if i can do it you can do it too and I'll